Bienvenidos, welcome to another episode of Spain on a Fork. Today we are making what is considered to be one of the most classic dishes from Spain. We're talking una zarzuela de pescado y mariscos. This seafood stew hails from the region of Catalonia, but more specifically from the beautiful province of Barcelona. And let me tell you, it's got so many great flavors to it, like seriously for the first bite, you will not believe how good it is. It's very easy to make and it comes together in about 40 minutes, folks. Serve this next to a crunchy baguette and a bottle of Spanish wine for the ultimate Spanish experience. Experience. Let's begin by grabbing a large deep fry pan. You can also use a stock pot here. Heat it with a medium heat and add in three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 45 milliliters. While the olive oil is heating, I'm going to reserve 10 raw blanched almonds. The ones that I'm using are Marcona almonds, but you can use whatever almonds you like. And I'm also going to remove the skins from four cloves of garlic. After heating the olive oil for about two minutes on a medium heat, you don't want it to get too hot. I'm gonna add in the raw blanched almonds and the cloves of garlic. And we'll mix them around with the olive oil. You wanna make sure to mix this continuously, that way the ingredients don't brown too quickly and they all evenly saute. After about three minutes and the almonds and garlic are lightly sauteed, you don't wanna brown them too much. I'm going to remove them from the pan, transfer them into a mortar, and then set it aside. Now using the same pan with the same heat, I'm going to add in one squid that I cut into thin rings and mix the squid rings around with the olive oil. Once again, you want to make sure to mix this continuously, that way the squid is evenly sauteed. Now the squid I'm using for this recipe is a clean tube of squid. They usually sell this in the freezer department. If you don't have them in your supermarket, go check with a local Asian supermarket. And I did cut the tube of squid into thin rings that were a quarter inch thick, which is a little over half a centimeter. After cooking the squid for about one minute, it should be perfectly cooked. You don't want to overcook it, otherwise it gets a rubbery texture. I'm going to remove it from the pan, set it aside, and then cover it with some foil paper. Now once again, using the same pan, I'm going to add in one medium sized onion that I roughly chopped and half of a green and red bell pepper that I roughly chopped. And we'll mix the vegetables around, that way they're all coated in the olive oil. And at this stage, you don't have to mix this continuously, but do get in there every minute or so, that way all the vegetables are evenly sauteed. After about five minutes, and the onions are nice and translucent, and the bell peppers lightly sauteed, I'm going to add in one teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is 2.30 grams, and one teaspoon of dried thyme, which is about one gram. And we'll give this a quick mix, that way those seasonings are evenly coating all the vegetables. Then we'll add in half a cup of white wine, which is 120 milliliters. You can substitute the white wine for the same amount of broth with a couple drops of lemon juice. And we'll give this a quick mix and simmer it for a couple minutes or until the alcohol in the white wine has been cooked off. After about three minutes and that white wine has reduced in half and the alcohol has cooked off, I'm going to add in one cup of tomato sauce, which is 225 grams. Now, for those of you that follow Spain on a fork, you know that the tomato sauce that I use, I make by finely grating tomatoes. But for this recipe, as always, you can also use canned tomato sauce or even pasata. And we'll season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. We'll give it a quick mix, that way everything's evenly mixed together. And raise the heat from a medium heat to a medium high heat. While our tomato sauce is simmering, let's move back to the mortar with the fried almonds and garlic. I'm going to add in two tablespoons of finely chopped parsley, which is eight grams, and a pinch of sea salt. And using a pestle, pound down on the ingredients until you form a paste. All right, let's move back to the fry pan. That tomato sauce has been simmering for about 10 minutes on a medium high heat, and as you can see, it's really thickened up. For the next step, I'm gonna add in one and a half cups of fish broth, which is 355 milliliters. You'll find a link where you can get the fish broth that I'm using in the description box below. I'm also gonna pinch in a quarter teaspoon of saffron threads, which is 0.17 grams. Once again, you'll find a link where you can get the saffron threads I'm using from Golden Saffron in the description box below. And we'll also add in our almond and garlic mixture. 
and we'll give this a quick mix and continue to cook it on a medium high heat. Once the broth comes to a boil, I'm gonna place a lid on the pan and lower the fire to a low medium heat. While the broth is simmering and all the flavors are developing, let's get the rest of the seafood ready. I've got a filet of cod here. This is 400 grams, which is about 14 ounces, and I bought it frozen and thawed it out. Very important to pat it completely dry with paper towels to remove any of the excess water in the fish. And to make this recipe, you can use any other type of white fish you like, such as sea bass or even halibut. Then we'll cut the piece of cod right down the middle and then into one inch pieces, which is two and a half centimeters. And we'll season the pieces of cod with a little sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. For the next ingredient, I'm gonna season 10 raw jumbo shrimp that have been peeled and deveined with a little sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. And once again, I bought these frozen and thawed them out and patted them completely dry with paper towels to remove any of the excess liquid in the shrimp. And for the final ingredient, I've got one pound of fresh clams here, which is half a kilogram. These have already been cleaned. I'm gonna add them into a sieve anyway and give them a quick rinse under some cold running water just to ensure that there's no excess dirt in the clams. All right, let's move back to the stew. This has been simmering for about 10 minutes on a low medium heat and all these flavors should be perfectly developed together. I'm gonna remove the lid from the pan, add our pieces of cod into the stew, and our clams. We'll place the lid back on the pan and raise the heat from a low medium heat to a medium high heat. And we're gonna simmer this between three to four minutes or until all those clams have been fully opened. After about four minutes, all those clams should be opened. I'm gonna remove the lid from the pan and look how beautiful that looks. For the final step, let's add our shrimp into the stew as well as our squid wings that we have reserved. And we're gonna simmer this without a lid for another one to two minutes or until those shrimp are perfectly cooked. Then we'll remove the pan from the heat and we'll sprinkle it with some finely chopped parsley, our zarzuela de pescado y mariscos is done, a beautiful Spanish seafood stew. You can serve this directly out of the pan or add it into shallow bowls. And I also have to let you know, I've made this recipe before here on Span Fork. It was actually one of my first videos. So this is a revised version that's so much easier to make and packs a ton more flavors. Let's give this a try and see how it turned out. Folks, this is what classic Spanish food is all about. Here we go. Good Lord, that is so good. <laughs> it's really a dish to get excited about. You know, everything's perfectly cooked. And you just melts in your mouth. You know, the name Tartuela roughly translates to an operetta, which is a form of an opera, meaning a lot of different symphonies, which perfectly describes this dish. You saw this easy to make, comes together in about 40 minutes, like I told you at the beginning, serve this next to a crunchy baguette and a bottle of Spanish wine for the ultimate Spanish experience. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Amy Martinez, Thomas Swain, Ibet Rivera, Nancy T, and David Anthony. Gang guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon and you'd like to support Spain on a Fork so I can continue to release videos like this, you'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and I card above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Smash the subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego. All right, folks, it's a wrap. And seriously, when it comes to seafood stews, because there's so many of them out there, but this one right here really takes the cake. So good. Love you. See you in the next video.